All right, guys, uh, Alex and Carrie here. Going over tomorrow's workout. Warm up is gonna start with a minute of cardio, your choice, however that looks, high knees, butt kickers, running, biking, whatever you gotta do. 30 seconds of crab walking. So hips up, crab walk, getting the shoulders and wrists warmed up. After that, we got 10 sit-ups plus a bicycle crunch. So just trying to make it a little bit different. Sit-up into a bicycle crunch times 10. After that, we got scorpion stretch. So lying on your stomach, reaching out to the side, rotating over, holding for about five seconds, rotate to the other side. Then we're also gonna have you guys take the arm up a little bit higher as if you are in an overhead position. Just getting a good stretch on there. Next, we're gonna go into Samson lunge, getting our hips and ankles warmed up. So deep lunge, reaching nice and tall and uh, feeling that stretch in that hip flexor. Do one to two times per side. Next, we got 10 overhead squats with our hands overhead, just a body weight squat. So full squat, keeping that chest up, hands overhead. This may be pretty difficult for a lot of people. You can also use a wall um, or a wall squat, hands overhead on the wall. Um, after you guys do that, we got 10 V-ups. So lying on the ground, V-up. This will be a modification for the workout. So trying to tap your ankles, maybe it's your shins depending on how mobile you are. Um, after that, we're gonna go into, move into barbell warm-up. So whether you have a bar or a dumbbell, we're gonna start off with five behind the neck push press. Getting those shoulders warmed up. Pretending like that weight is super heavy, but really pressing up, shrugging at the top. So five push press. Um, dip, drive that bar up, knees out. Keep that torso nice and upright. After that, we're gonna go do a couple jerks. So dip drive, catch under the bar, so two dips. Next, we're gonna go into overhead squat. So think about pulling that bar apart, keeping that chest upright. Uh, armpits should be facing forward, drive the knees out, Heel, heels should stay loaded on the ground. Five overhead squats. And then we're gonna go into Bergner mid shin for full snatch. So from there, we're gonna go into that shoulder shrug. So keeping that bar nice and close, actively pass the knees, pull up bar on our hip, and go into a shrug. After the shrug, you're gonna do it also a pull. So shrug and pull, elbows are high and outside. After that, we're gonna go into a muscle snatch. So just drive that bar all the way overhead. And then if you feel comfortable, we're gonna go into that full snatch. So we are doing a max snatch today or tomorrow. So pull, your bar, pull the bar in your hips, pulling under into that full overhead squat position, standing tall. All right, so strength is snatch. We are gonna establish a max. Hopefully all of you guys have enough weight to do so. If not, um, we are going to do a couple things at home. Starting with three sets of eight dumbbell, stacked over shoulder, shrug, I'm sorry, static shrug and pull. <laughs> Get it right here. Static. Static shrug. So we're gonna do eight shrugs and then followed by a high pull. Okay, so per side. After that, dumbbell snatch balance. So these are definitely challenging. So dumbbell will be on our shoulders. We're going to dip, drive that belt up, pressing down into an overhead squat. All right, so basically doing a single arm overhead squat. Next, we're gonna do five to five dumbbell full snatch. So from the ground, full snatch, just like you would with barbell. Keep that weight nice and close, making sure it's stacked over our shoulders, arms locked out. Um, if you are unable to do that and have an issue, you also just do dumbbell power snatch plus an overhead squat. So power snatch, stand it up, nice and slow and controlled, going down that full squat position. All right, our workout tomorrow is called Popeye. Starting with one, two, three, four, all the way up to 10 reps of power snatch and strict pull-up. So power snatch bar is at mid shin, ending overhead, catching it above parallel. So one power snatch, one strict pull-up, two power snatch, two strict pull-up. At home, we are going to do power dumbbell snatch. So one power dumbbell snatch, and then we're gonna do dumbbell rows for strict pull-up. If you don't have a pull-up bar, 
probably do one per side. All right. Um, after that, you finish the power snatch and the strict pull-ups. Uh, you're going to go into reps of 10, 9, all the way to 1. 10, 9, 8, all the way down to 1 of alternating dumbbell snatch. So alternating from the ground. Dumbbell? Dumbbell, yeah. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> so 10 total reps here. After that, 10 toes to bar. Modification will be a VF. Nice job. And at home, if you don't have, um, well at home, since you're going to be doing dumbbell uh, snatch for the first part, the second half we're going to do alternating dumbbell hang snatch. Just to mix it up a little bit, okay? And yes, once you finish, if you finish early be before the 16 minute time cap, you're going to complete as many sit-ups as you can. So, max rep sit-ups, alright you guys? Hope you guys enjoy the workout. Definitely tune in with us for our Zoom classes tomorrow. Uh, we do have our Zoom socials uh, scheduled for 6.15. We'd love to see you guys all on. Um, we'd love to see your faces and say hi. And we love you guys. See ya. Yeah.